They could not handle it. Jesus is like, I don't care whether we've done it that way. I'm the chief cornerstone, and you're going to trip over me. Why? Because you can't get out of your own way because of your tradition. It was the stone that the builders rejected. Now, let me let me just say this to you. It, this is you have to understand words here. Okay, um, rejected is not like you're on the assembly line and it's a cracked egg and you just get rid of it. You know, they stamp them. Okay, you know, this word rejected as it relates to those that rejected him means that they vehemently denied him to the degree that what they wanted to dispose of him. I'm going to reject you and everything that you're about to the degree that I'm going to get rid of you. What did they do? What did they do? They did. They got rid of him. They thought. <laughs> they thought they got rid of him. They, they could not handle it. The Jews could not handle it. It's, it was more than just this mental assent to disagree. Well, I don't really disagree with you, Jesus, so you can preach your message and I'll preach. No. No, they were after him. Look at John 5, 17 and 18. It's up here. Jesus responded to them. This is just an illustration of how they rejected him. My father is still working and I am working also. Oh, boy. Can you imagine Jesus saying, oh, yeah, by the way, I am part of God, and this is my father. The Jews did not believe that because Yahweh was something different. And he says, this is why the Jews began trying all the more to kill him because of their rejection and disobedience. Not only was he breaking the Sabbath, but he was even calling God his own father, making him equal to God. They must have lost their minds. We're going to reject you. Why? Because. So Peter lays this out, and he's laying this out to help his readers understand, those that are in captivity, that rejecting God probably wouldn't be the best path. It wouldn't. It would not be the best path. And honestly, these claims and this truth about God being God, uh, Jesus being God, and 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 that He was the Father, uh, on a, they uh, to the point of no, crucify Him, get rid of Him, dispose of Him. The Pharisees and other religious leaders, I believe had done what they thought was enough investigation about the claims of Jesus. But for some reason, they turned what he did, the miracles, water into wine, feeding the 5,000, healing the sick, making the blind see, making the lame walk. They looked at that as an affront and an offense instead of looking at it as I'm proving who I am by what I'm doing. They just got ticked. They didn't like it. But Peter says, no matter, no matter what they did, Christ is still the cornerstone. Let me ask you this. Have you ever been in a situation where you think you're never going to get out and you're you're wondering, why in the world am I in this? Why in the world did God make me? Why in the world am I in this situation? I get that that's hard. But as a believer, You have a faith and a hope outside of your situation that can help you navigate through your situation. Same as 1 Peter. But you have to believe him. Obviously, we know that the Pharisees did not and the the religious leaders. Verse 8, a stone of stumbling and a rock to trip over. We talked about this last week. Going down a path. Man, the Israel's Israel, the Jewish nation was on a path. They were good. You know, God was, they were doing their thing. God had given them uh uh these uh this this tablet and it had these ten things on it. And they were like, Yeah, we'll just obey that. And so later on they decided to add her six hundred and plus more of those because they thought that would help. Um, and they were like, Man, we're doing our thing, we're doing our thing. 
They're walking down the path of life. And next thing you know, Jesus shows up on the scene 33 years later, and he's a rock right in the middle of their path. They can't do life like they used to. Why? Because Jesus changed it all. Jesus said, I didn't come. I, didn't, I came to fulfill the law for you on your behalf. Not get rid of it, fulfill it. What? I mean, can you imagine? Yeah, but we've never... Oh, this is so good because we hear this all the time in church. Yeah, but we've never done it that way before. Jesus is like, I don't care whether we've done it that way. I'm the chief cornerstone, and you're going to trip over me. Why? Because you can't get out of your own way because of your tradition. Oops. Oops. 